Good evening, everyone. It is 6.30 p.m. on Monday, January 22nd, 2018, and I would like to go ahead and call the regular meeting of the Winton Woods Board of Education to order. If everyone would please silence all of their electronic devices and please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all thank you you may be seated mr seymour would you please call our roll tonight sure mr birdie present dr johnson present mrs coon present mrs rugless present mrs miranda present our first item on our agenda this evening item number two is our district honors recognitions gifts and introductions superintendent smith you have the floor yes madam president and board before i go through the district honors recognitions and gifts I'd like to um, personally thank um, people in the community uh, I know we've had some unseasonably strange weather and the parents have been very very patient understanding why we have to delay school or close school uh, and it's really about the safety of our students so to all of the parents in our community thank you very very much for uh, your patience uh, we received a few phone calls and they were very gracious saying thank you superintendent for making the best decision for our children so thank you so moving on to district honors recognitions gifts and intros mr andrew herman of better world beans donated 45 pounds of ground coffee valued at 675 dollars the coffee will be used by staff for refreshment for a refreshment item during work hours the board of education thanks mr herman for his generosity Anybody in favor of that? Happy about yes. that? Yes. yes. <laughs> Mr. Herman is a hero. Yes, he is. All right. The next district honors recognition and gifts is going to Reverend Justin Saltworth, pastor of City Hill Church, donated $500 to help support opening a student run spirit shop at Winton Woods High School. City Hill Church's contribution is greatly appreciated by the board. I know Mr. Denny is working diligently with SHP Leading Design and also the engineers that in that new school is going to be an incredible spirit shop. Mm -hmm. And so thank you very, very much for the pastor of City Hill Church uh, and always keeping our, our kids in mind. I know Dr. Johnson has a vision one day of seeing a sea of blue uh, all over this this field Absolutely. and just making sure Whitten Woods is the district Absolutely. of destination Blue and green. the next one goes to um, it's actually school board recognition month and school boards all over the state are recognizing their board but we do know that we've got the best board in the land at least we have the best board in Whitten Woods City Schools so uh, the student staff and communities <laughs> of the Wentworth City Schools join the Ohio School Board Association to honor the exemplary leadership service and endless hours of dedication given by our elected board members on behalf of our school district and its communities. We thank our board members, President Ms. Jessica Miranda. Oh. <laughs> Vice President Mr. Jeff Burdy. <laughs> board members. Dr. Viola Johnson, Ms. Paula Kuhn, and finally, Ms. Katrina Ruglis. Winwoods High School Students Council President, Ms. Princess Dyer, will present certificates of appreciation on behalf of the Ohio School Board Association to our illustrious board members. <laughs> Test. Okay. Well, first I wanted to say thank you to each and every one of you. I know that you support us so much and I'm sure that our district would be a complete mess without you. And I'm just glad whenever I see you guys in public at football games or in concerts or just out and about in Forest Park, you always have such a nice smile and it's so heartwarming to me. And you even let us use this room for school projects as well. And we try to model our honor society and student council meetings after you guys, but we'll get there soon. <laughs> <laughs> and also, even though we don't see you all every single day and are able to say thank you, we really do appreciate everything that you do for us, and we're eternally grateful. Thank so. you. Thank you. She wants to come down there. Yes, you know, Superintendent's Week is coming up soon. <laughs> So first, it's only a week, one at a time. So oh, yes. 
<laughs> First, we have President Mrs. Jessica Miranda. <laughs> Next, we have Vice President Jeff Birdie. Be proud. Board member Viola Johnson. Board member Paula Kuhn. <laughs> and last but not least, board member Katrina Regas. Might be an Ed week. Thank you very much. Thank you, Princess. Student Council President Princess Dyer, thank you so very much. Yes. Those kind words really do mean so much to all of us. I think I can speak for my colleagues. We really appreciate that. Okay, so that is the end of gifts, honors, and recognitions, right, Superintendent Smith? Yes, ma'am. Okay, is. so we will go ahead and take our normal five minute recess, and then we will come back at item number four. We are back in session, and board colleagues, we have no public comments, so we will move right into the approval of our minutes and item number five. Madam President, I'd like to make a motion to approve the minutes as presented. Awesome. <coughs> it's been motioned and seconded. Any discussion or questions? Seeing none, Mr. Seymour, would you call the vote? Sure. Mr. Birdie? Aye. Dr. Johnson? Aye. Mrs. Kuhn? Aye. Mrs. Ruggles? Aye. Mrs. Moran? Aye. Motion passes unanimously, and we will move into item number 6.1. And Mr. Seymour, you have the floor. First of all, let me apologize for not putting on the January 8th organizational meeting and work session. Thanks for pointing that out. We'll have that at the next regular meeting. Thank you. So, um, the uh, financials uh, are for the month ending in December. And as you know, we're halfway through the year, so our year-to-date revenues in the general fund were $24 million, with month-to-date of $1.8 million. And the $1.8 million for, this, for the month of December was strictly our state foundation. Um, in the general fund expenditures, we had year-to-date expenditures of $24.7 million. And that puts us currently at 3.7 under budget, or approximately 1.9 million. Um, and then for all funds, we had a fund balance of 72.6 million, of which 15 was the general fund, 10 was our building fund, and 46.6 was our classroom facilities. Thank you, Mr. Seymour. Any questions or comments for Mr. Seymour on item six? Okay, let's just let the financial statement for the month of December 2017 be submitted to audit. And we'll move back in to item 7, Mr. Seymour. We had interest for the month of December uh, for all funds 
uh, at about 87 for a fund balance of 87 million and we had for all funds about 201,000 15 thousand six hundred eighty one for the general fund and one hundred and eighty four thousand three hundred for our building fund. Board of motion would be in honor for uh, or order for item seven. I'd like to make a motion to approve the investment report as presented. I'll second. It's been motioned and seconded. Any questions or comments? Seeing none, Mr. Seymour, would you please call that vote? Mr. Birdie? Aye. Dr. Johnson? Aye. Mrs. Kuhn? Aye. Mrs. Ruglis? Aye. Mrs. Miranda? Aye. Motion passes unanimously. And Superintendent, you have the floor for item number eight. Yes, Madam President and Board. Uh, the BLT minutes and the upcoming events, I'd like to uh, concentrate on a few of the events that are uh, upcoming, and I'll start with uh, Primary South. Uh, we've been working diligently to make sure our parents were aware of how our students are performing academically. So there is a lengthy parent-teacher conference on January 25th, and we hope parents really do come out. One of the other pieces that we put in place, we wanted parents to be aware of how their kids were progressing before the 10-week cycle. So if you notice on the calendars, as well as in this report tonight, midterms are very, very important that run on February 2nd because it gives the kids five weeks if I'm doing great, continue on with the great work, and if I'm having some difficulty, you can get some assistance. And then the other and very important thing that's happening at Primary South is there is a primary prom on February 9th, 6.30 to 8.30. So for people who never had a chance to go to your prom, this might be a great opportunity to go to the primary prom. Moving on to Primary North, again, uh, these are all noted. Parent-teacher conferences run from 5 to 8.30. And then Mr. Jones actually put another piece in there, progress reports will go home, because we want people to understand what's happening with the primary students as well. So there's a progress report, how my, how's my child doing? In the past, parents were concerned because they didn't get that information until May. There's no time to make the adjustments to help the child through it, and so this is a better opportunity for kids. On January 25th, uh, in ES, there's a gallery walk project exhibition night, um, 6 to 8, and there's parent evening conferences, 5 to 8.30, and then the interim report card goes home for uh, parents, so to parents so that they know, again, how their child is doing academically. Uh, for parents out there, please make sure you contact your teachers. If you're wondering what this internal report card is, is supposed to do, it's supposed to inform you of how your child is doing academically the first five weeks of school. Moving on to Mr. Day's building uh, at ES, the interim report card will be distributed on February 9th. And there's, then there's an incredible intermediate art show that runs 6 to 7.30 on February 15th. The middle school has an exhibition night as well, 5 to 8.30 on February 1st. And then there's a scheduling and curriculum night, 6 to 7, on February 8th. And then on February 13th, which is very exciting, and I'm hoping some board members can attend, this is the, the rising ninth graders evening informational meeting night at the high school. Uh, it kind of tells them what to expect for high school, what this ninth grade experience is going to look like. And so Principal Sanker is being very intentional about telling parents this is what we expect your child to do and be when they arrive to the high school. And I think the uh, other part, Mr. Martin, will also have a, a guest speaking appearance at that uh, event. And moving on to the high school, there is a middle school and high school college credit night plus. Uh, this is an opportunity where we can showcase and talk to some of the middle school students about being part of College Credit Plus. I know that the teaching and learning department has worked extensively on trying to bring the college opportunity to the high school. And I know Dr. Raglan gave me some great information this morning that we are close to getting that done. Uh, some of our kids want to participate in College Credit Plus, but they don't have the transportation. That should not be a deterrent. So we figured out a way to get it done. And so thank you for your work. All right. All right. So and then again, for um, we actually have an interim report card for the uh, Wynton Woods Alternative School. 
Uh, we don't leave them out because they're a very important part of who we are and what we do. So their parents need to know how is my child moving progressively through this process and also is my child in alignment to uh, receive their diploma in May. Okay, any questions or comments for Superintendent Smith? Okay, we'll move right into 9.01 then, Superintendent Smith. Yes, Madam President and Board, the recommendation is to approve personnel schedules, Schedule A, resignations and retirements, Schedule B, certificated staff, Schedule C, support staff, Schedule D, extra duty and supplemental employment, and finally, Schedule E, leaves. Madam President, I'd like to make a motion to approve the personnel schedules as presented. I'll second. It's been motioned and seconded. Any questions? Or discussion? Seeing none, Mr. Seymour, would you please call that vote? Mr. Birdie? Aye. Dr. Johnson? Aye. Mrs. Kent? Aye. Mrs. Ruglis? Aye. Mrs. Miranda? Aye. Motion passes unanimously. And back to you, Superintendent Smith, for 9.02. Yes, Madam President and Board. The recommendations to approve the revised co code of conduct as presented. The major piece of the revision was just the formatting. So most of the everything stayed consistent that uh, that was already there. But there are two points that I want to make for parents and also for community members. The Wintonwood City School District is committed to helping our students achieve their highest potential. That begins with making sure that we maintain a safe and orderly environment. And finally, we encourage parents to be highly involved early in the process to help to maximize the success of their child. A strong partnership between school and home is a critical component to student success. Madam President, I'd like to make a motion to approve the revised code of conduct as presented. Second. It's been motioned and seconded. Any discussion or questions? Seeing none, Mr. Seymour, would you please call that vote? Mr. Birdie? Aye. Dr. Johnson? Aye. Mrs. Kidd? Aye. Mrs. Ruglis? Aye. Mrs. Maria? Aye. Motion passes unanimously, and we will move into item number 10 on our agenda this evening. First up is the legislative report. Colleagues, would you please take one and pass it down? There are a couple different items that I placed in here for you, and I did not print the entire briefcase for you because I figured you already got this via email, and it's a very long document, so I didn't want to waste any more paper than necessary. Um, there are a few things in here in the briefcase that I wanted to draw your attention to, however, and that is the Southwest Region Spring Conference is coming up on Tuesday, March 13th. <coughs> Um, so if you're interested in that, please let Mr. Seymour know as soon as possible, and more information about that and the agenda for that actual event is inside the briefcase. And then in the packet that I created for you, obviously the biggest topic of this month is ECOT closing its doors. Um, so some information is there for you. It affects about 12,000 Ohio students. Um, Districts like CPS and others have already gotten with their administrative teams and made plans of what they're going to do and how they're going to ease those children back into um, their public school district to make sure that they don't miss any more educational opportunities that they already have. So um, as promised in my prior legislative report, probably in early summer or late spring of last year when all of this ECOT business started coming to light. I promised you I'd keep you abreast of this, so there's the update there for you. Also, what I printed there for you is the legislative happenings for the week of January 15th. Um, you'll see that there's a lot of testimony that's been given around certain House bills and Senate bills. I don't want to read all these verbatim to you. You can read those on your own. And then, last but not least, there is a event coming up very soon. It's actually tomorrow, so I don't know if anyone's able to make it up there, but they are doing a celebration of public education tomorrow at the State House from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. And you should have gotten that email as well with the press release on there. If you did not get it, let me know, and I can forward that to you. And then the other items that I attached here for you this evening is the OSBA official press release regarding the closing of ECOT. And last but certainly not least, our Urban District Networking Meeting is coming up on February 20th. Um, I know you all have probably already received this email as well, but this is the date and time. I ask you to please RSVP if your intention is to go, and hopefully I will see you there. 
that concludes my legislative report and Mr. Birdie will move right into your Great Oaks Career and Technical Center report. Uh, just I'm passing out a, some highlights from the Great Oaks last Great Oaks School Board meeting. I did email everybody a spotlight um, on students that report that they do each each board meeting where they identify students um, you know who have excelled or been recognized in the different programs within the Great Oaks. So each one of you should have that. I do want to note that a uh, Winton Woods student. Uh, uh, Shakira Reeves in Health Technology was uh, Student Athlete of the Week, December 22nd. Um, she's a senior at Winton Woods, plays softball and volleyball. She is a varsity volleyball player, a member of the National Honor Society, and is on the STEP team. Uh, she is studying Health Technology at Scarlet Oaks, plans to major in pre-med, and has a GPA of 3.66 unweighted. So, congratulations to her. Last wow. name. Reeves. my Great Oaks report. Thank you, Mr. Birdie. Okay, next on our agenda are the board motions recommendations. We have no motions this evening, but if you would take one and pass it down. I neglected to make an appointment, an actual very important appointment at our organizational meeting, so I wanted to go ahead and do that now in the recommendations section, and that's to appoint Dr. Viola Johnson as the DLT slash BLT liaison. Um, and I know Superintendent Smith, you've already sent something out that already had her listed as such, so I just wanted to make sure our record reflected that accordingly. So thank you, Mr. Seymour, for making sure that's in the minutes tonight. Um, next item is our board comments, and Dr. Johnson, we'll start with you this evening. Um, yeah, um, the only thing, board colleagues, uh, you probably should have received an email about the Hall of Fame dinner. I'm sure Mrs. Jordan needs to know whether we're gonna, it's this Friday. Yeah. So um, just kind of reminding us of that. Uh, Mr. Smith had already mentioned about the College Credit Plus. There's actually on Thursday, February the 1st, they're gonna have that. Um, it's, it's real important because we've had discussions around the uh, College Credit Plus and how it, uh, it is um, kind of, taking off and almost mm -hmm. taking the place of advanced standing yeah, and you know not to say that it, it will but um, it, it's really important and I know I have a lot of college credit plus students in my current classes right now at Cincinnati State um, not any from Winton Woods but from other you know other high schools so it's it's a really important thing um, the other thing that I had uh, observed on the uh, calendar is the upcoming dates for the ACT testing so uh, students that need to take the ACT testing and the SAT testing, look at the school calendar and get those dates. And, and Paula, you're probably gonna mention this, I don't know, about the uh, Winton Woods Educational Foundation. You're gonna mention that? Go ahead, sir. Well, okay, you'll reinforce me. I don't know a lot of details. I just know that it's coming up and they've got a big fundraiser coming up and she'll give you more details. It's at the grand finale. It's a wonderful foundation that really gives a lot of money uh, scholarship money to students and uh, we should uh, you know if you can participate to help um, out that organization that's a good idea too so and to thank everyone for the beautiful flowers or balloons and the dessert here and the appreciation we appreciate being appreciated thank you yeah, thank I, you I Dr. Johnson cupcakes, you so. didn't <laughs> <laughs> thank you Gigi <laughs> thank you Gigi <laughs> Mr. Birdie <laughs> Uh, just echoing what Dr. Uh, Johnson said, I think uh, if you can get out to the grand finale and make reservations that evening, that would be great. Um, thank you to Mrs. Wallace and Primary South for their recognition. And Princess Dyer, she did a great job. Um, yes. And we, appreci we do appreciate those words, as, uh, as Jessica said. Uh, again, recommend you know, communication with parents. Parent-teacher conferences, conferences going on at each of the schools. You know, I'd love to see the parents uh, be able to attend those, if at all possible. So, um, and that's it. Thank you, Mr. Birdie. Mrs. Ruglis? Yes, um, I'd like to say that I have to hats off to the district. Um, their alert systems or the inclement weather. I um, work across four organizations and I have to say the information from Winton Woods educational organizations and Winton Woods um, was the most accurate and most timely so I thought that that was worth sending a shout out to the communications department 
Um, also, because I never attended my prom, I will go to the primary, <laughs> the primary prom. So I thought that was really cool. And I had an opportunity to go to, um, I think his first name is Stephen Smith. I could be wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Smith's cousin. <laughs> who held a cyber safety um, event at the middle school. It was very well attended. It was a packed house. So parents had them, whatever you did to get the parents out, the parents um, showed up and they showed up strong. And the information was um, a value add. I had an opportunity to talk to Mr. Smith after um, the event and he, we just kind of connected on some different things in the community and a parent pulled up and she said, I have to say that was the best workshop or event that I have ever been to for parents. And um, she just was, you know, I was like, I didn't have anything to do with it, but that's great. So um, those value added uh, workshops and things like that that are important to parents. Um, I have to thank the, the district staff for um, thinking about bringing that to um, our district, so. Thank you, Mrs. Ruggles. Mrs. Kuhn? Um, well, I'll start off with um, the Wynwoods Educational Foundation um, has different fundraisers. And one that we've that been done the last few years is um, a dinner at uh, the grand finale. It's February 23rd. So if you make reservations and tell them that it's for the Wynwoods Educational Foundation, I believe 20%, not your drink, but of your food purchases will go back to the Wynwoods Educational Foundation. Um, it's, they time it around uh, Valentine's uh, in that area, so it's a great opportunity to take your sweetheart out <laughs> and uh, do something good for our students in our community. Uh, the foundation does give money every, at the beginning of every school year, they do grants to teachers throughout our district who have novel and creative ideas and they funded Oh gosh, I guess twenty thousand dollars or more over the last several years. So it's a great opportunity, and it sparks our creativity in our teachers. It gets them thinking. It gets them involved with our students. Um, I also wanted to thank all the hard work that went into the talent show. Uh, the um, Music Boosters had their annual talent show last Sunday, and um, the the performers did not disappoint. Uh, the extent of the level of our talent that runs from the wee little ones to the, our seniors is amazing. Um, I don't know what's in the water or whatever happens here, but it's amazing the talent that, uh, that is homegrown and, and is cultivated. Um, Winton Woods is known for that aspect of what, we, what our students bring. We cultivate it. Um, I think it, it gives us one of our pillars of our community, and I think it's something that we need to celebrate. So the students were really, it's really exciting. Um, I was a judge, my husband was a judge, and one of the teacher's fathers was a judge. Fortunately, I judged the little ones, not the, the high school, because I still know the parents. So I, I could honestly say I was not the judges of those grade levels, so they couldn't hold it against me. Um, but it, who, who won? Apparently, it's, they're very competitive. Um, but I do, and I do want to support uh, all of our parent programs, going back to Mr. Smith's um, inclusion that parents, the involvement of parents with their students in the school district are what makes the benefit for their children significantly greater. Um, it builds the students' participation. The other kids love to see other people's parents. Even though their own, they might not want to have their own parent there, the other kids <laughs> love to see the other kids' parents and will remember them forever. Um, my husband, he forgets everybody, but when they're little and they grow up and they say something to him, he always asks me later who they are, but uh, they still remember him. So mm -hmm. your, your uh, impact Very makes good. a big difference mm -hmm. on our children. And we can see that with uh, Princess uh, Dyer, who was just the most wonderful spokesperson. If mm -hmm. you had to have a billboard for what we put out as student caliber, she uh, would be on the top of that list. So she did a fantastic job. And from, I think, our, our board and our, I know our teachers feel the same way. But when the students come up to them and tell them they appreciate their hard work, that goes a lot. And so that means a lot to us. So mm -hmm. thank you very much. Thank you, Mrs. Kuhn. Mm -hmm. I did just want to reiterate some of those sentiments, but before I do, um, one thing I neglected to mention in the briefcase, the reason why this is so thick this time is if you look in here, there are so many workshops available for us to sign up for. Um, I would highly encourage you to look through this and decide which one or you know, multiple ones you'd like to attend and um, get that to Mr. Seymour as soon as possible so he can get you signed up for those. There's some really 
good ones coming up soon. Um, and then just to express, since in honor of Board Appreciation Month, this, what we do, what we're elected to do, and what we fight so hard for is truly a labor of love. So to receive this love in return really makes our hearts soar and makes this all worthwhile. So from the bottom of our hearts, we really appreciate it. So thank you to Princess Dyer. Thank you to Principal Wallace. Thank you to our teaching and learning department and uh, Mrs. Bray that are here tonight with us. We, we greatly appreciate you celebrating this wonderful month with us. Um, I don't see any representatives from either um, union here. So, and then we also do not have a need for a closed or executive session. So anything from, oh yes, Mrs. Jordan. Thank you so much, Mrs. Jordan. I know she's not sitting here anymore, but she is probably the one who made the labor of love to put this <laughs> wonderful presentation yes, together. Yes, so yes, we greatly believe, appreciate that. Uh, From yeah. putting our frames and our certificates and yeah. our frames and everything together to making sure our dais is like organized and beautiful every night. So thank you, Mrs. Jordan. We appreciate it. Anything else you wanted to say, Superintendent Smith, before we close out? No, I, I, I'm just happy that... Uh, the board is being recognized for your hard work and all of your dedication and commitment to Wittenwood City Schools. And we wish we could have gotten you guys a, a real hot air balloon that can just take you <laughs> off and soar, but we had to settle for this. So there you go. Thanks. Yeah, that's, that's fine. <laughs> Anything from you, Mr. Seymour? Good. I'll just iterate, Mr. Smith. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. Well, with no further business, we will go ahead and adjourn 7.05 p.m. this evening. Thank you all for coming and have a great night. Yes. Yes. Five minutes shot.